Some people go to church, some people get down on their knees. This is how I commune with the cosmos or what I perceive to be ultimate reality. Somewhere along the way, it just made sense to work entirely in blood because it was the purest, purest mode of, of communicating this stuff. Basically, I'm working very gradually in building the whole thing up. That's how I make a painting. Um, it's really starting with the lightest guidelines, and then I start building it up from light to dark. Um, I'll get in there and like establish some mid-tones like, throughout the piece, but uh, it's really just pass after pass of uh, light shading, building it up gradually to get all the all the details where I need. I was working on these pen and ink pieces that I started to, you know, I finally felt like the imagery itself had aligned itself with what, you know, uh, what, what I wanted to communicate, what was my visual language, so to speak. Uh, but the substance, there was a disconnect with that. And I started experimenting with blood in small amounts. And I fell in love, you know, it was for the first time my truth was communicated completely. I didn't know at the time whether the medium would hold up, whether it had uh, archival uh, quality, and it just so happens it turns out that it did. You know, iron oxide is a pigment. And that's the exact stuff that's in blood that allows me to use it as pigment. It was quite a while that I was not even putting the medium out there. I wasn't, it wasn't on my site as blood. It was, there were just the dimensions and titles of the pieces. It was actually for a couple of years because I didn't want the medium to overshadow the work. You know, the work is not trying to be dark. Um, it is what it is inherently, you know, it, it just, it came from a raw, real place and it's really just a reflection of the gamut of experiences in life. Um, you have the range of all human emotions there. I've recently been uh, taking on commissions for pieces in the collector's blood. So, you know, Margaret Cho uh, commissioned a portrait a while back. Gary Holt from Slayer, his guitar painted in his blood. And uh, I, I just think it's one of the most amazing things to be able to own a piece of artwork that is literally created out of you, physically, especially if it's a portrait. You know, it's like almost a uh, reconstitution of your own flesh. Despite what the work looks like on the surface, there is a common thread of hope and of perseverance that runs through all of the work. It's, it's, it's actually what unifies it with the whole body of work despite what what's going on in, in there because every every act of creation for me is a engagement in that in that hope and uh, you know it's what the what the creative process has been for me it's been like uh, my everything <laughs>